Wilmington and San Pedro have always been the gateway to Catalina since back in the late 1800s. My father, myself, and a friend of mine started Catalina Express along with my brother Tim in 1981. And we came in to actually replace the seaplanes that were at that point going out of service. So what we needed to do was replace that service with fast boats. So we went out, we bought one boat, it was a 50 passenger, and we started out with doing three runs a day. Well, about a million to a million two people go to and from Catalina on an annual basis. And uh, back in 1981 when we started, I think we carried 3,500 people that year. Both my daughter Amanda and my son Eric, they're all in the business. This building was actually built back in 1966, and it was the seaplane hangar building. They'd take off underneath the Vincent Thomas Bridge. Our goal was, was really to make it so that people felt their trip started when they got here. There's bocce ball courts here located on premises. There's also a putting green. We got fire pits when it's chilly out and people do seem to feel like they're on their way to Catalina as soon as they walk through the gate. Wilmington used to be the location for the freight service here to the island. And to bring them both onto the same property has been a home run. The Port of Los Angeles has been a real partner in this all the way along. They work very well with us in trying to come up with a solution for this move. And I think that what we've come up with is one of the best locations we have. When we brought our employees back to this location, we were able to bring 100 employees back this way. Catalina Express employs approximately 325 employees in total with the vessel crews and administration and ticket sales and the terminal facilities. Avalon Freight Services employs approximately 26 people with operating the two vessels that we have as well as the uh, warehouse here and on the island. The island is always growing. It's been an exciting part of being not just in passengers, but also in freight now. A normal week of freight going to Catalina Island is five days a week, 15 trailers. It's shipping fuel, it's food, it's, it's beverages. It's everything you can imagine that has to go to an island to keep it moving. My favorite hobbies are getting out and going fishing. It's a lot of fun to go out off the island and do some fishing. It's always been known as a fishing paradise. Well, I think the favorite part of Catalina Express for me is working around the water. I've been around the water all my life. We just like to be a big part of this overall Catalina Express family. Our whole team here has worked hard to build what we built. There's no eyes here. It's a lot of we's and we really all enjoy it.